Driving too fast on the E-way, I'm speeding on them Bro told me, get it, you gon' make it I remember nights I was sleeping in them basements I see my path, had to take it Survive from the shit, had to face it I ain't fucking with you, you too fake to What's good, YouTube? It's your boy <laughs> You know what I'm talking about So I haven't did these in a long time I haven't done a reaction video I am going to get on my reaction videos now Cause I feel like, you know, I want to do these real quick. You know, I want to do some reaction videos for y'all. I will be posting reaction videos daily. I will try to post a reaction video daily. So, stay tuned for those. No cap. On the road to 1K. Click that like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, again, subscribe. Press that like button. Comment down below if you got any videos you want me to react to. And, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy, Bam. And let go. Let's get into the video. You know what I'm saying? I also, I'm going to be reacting to this, my 300, my 3,000 pound family. I'll just eat until I'm dead, probably. I also, if I say, listen, don't take these reaction videos to the heart. Anything I say is jokes for me. Let's get into the video. <laughs> I'll just eat until I'm dead, probably. <laughs> A normal day for me is wake up around 12, figure out something I'm going to eat immediately, TV, video games, bed. It's not a lot of activity. It's hot, <laughs> hot in Georgia. Well, let me, I'm not, I didn't mean that, bro. I didn't mean that. No offense. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just like... And all my clothing is restricting and top. I wonder what size that bed is, bro. <laughs> No cat? Look at the bed, bro. That bed is pretty strong. That's a pretty strong bed. That's all I have to say. And all my clothing is... And like, at least, bro. At least clean your room, bro. Like, you got all that shit in the back. Like, it's hot. It's hot in Georgia. And all my clothing is restricted. It's hot in Georgia. I mean, it's hot anywhere you go. I'm pretty sure. It's tight, though. So I just sit in there naked. Free as can be, and no one bothers me. Door shut, we're good. I'm just safe, and video games are where I escape. Oh no, he's got it. Oh god, he's got that one guy that's gonna kill me. Oh no, he's weak, but I'm weak. I'm weak. Ah, I'm gonna die. He's down. <laughs> right, I gotta go in the kitchen and get uh stuff. All right, I'll be right back. I'm accepted in I know it takes him at least at least five minutes just to get off the bed. All those virtual reality worlds and the gaming world I'm in. No one sees me. No what one sees me. Fuck? That is my outside. That is my Oh this is cool. Yo, <laughs> Yo no friends. I'm sorry. The case that I wanna be, but not be judged on my way. I never would have thought at 34 I'd be living with my father and I'd be have no job, have no real money, and just be playing video games all day and eating. I've always been That's not healthy, bro. That's not healthy, bro. Yeah. My fault. That's not healthy, bro. Y'all need a the bullshit. Don't. Y'all need like y'all need to eat healthy, bro. No bullshit. All that Wendy's, McDonald's, bullshit, bro. That shit ain't good for you. Some pounds. So then I got out of school, got a couple jobs at a couple restaurants. I ate at them. I was probably around 500 pounds then, and uh, it was just getting too difficult to work, so I quit my job. My mom said, to live in this house, you have to have a job. So she kicked me out, and I, the only thing I had left to go was my father's. So I went there. Basically, his one thing that knew made me happy was food. So we just ate like kings, but like in the worst way. Pizzas, chicken, Japanese. How? As a good father, as a good dad, I feel like you shouldn't like condone this. You feel me? Like, if you see your son is getting big like that, why keep giving him food? Like, look at him, bro. Like, he's obviously gonna need some like surgery or something to lose all that weight because running and shit like that's not gonna be possible for this dude. It's gonna be takeout. I mean, me and my dad would get hibachi delivered, sushi by the barrel. I mean, just anything you wanted to eat, we were getting. 
Oh my god, Nanners, where are you? Man, this isn't even a real game. Why are you supposed to these people with me? Bitch, I got your food. Okay. Look at his dad bringing in food. This has to be for the camera because, like, I'm. Bro, why are you. I'm not even gonna say. I got the drinks. I don't know which one's tea, which which one's Dr. Puffy. You have to you have to look in this and uh, he'll tell me what to get him and I'll come right back a lot of times in case that's too much food. But I'll get it for him and bring it to the house and put it right in front of him. Why? He's my son, I love look him. Look at him. I love to make him happy. You know, and he eats got a lot three to do burgers. Happy, so four for fours? He can't, when he goes to Wendy's, he don't ask for four for fours. He probably asks for two for, he probably asks, if eights for eights was a thing, eights for eights, he would get eights for eights. It's like an addict about food. Well, I bet you did not get your right order. Are you kidding me? No, you didn't, because if you ordered yourself a meal, it's not in here. Well, whatever. Here you go, there's your lunch. I don't want to call him an enabler, but I mean, sometimes it's really the way, like, it... Cheeseburgers. It, it seems that it is. I'm not buying the groceries. I'm not buying the frozen pizzas. I'm not buying the chicken wings. There's someone facilitating the food coming in, and it's not me. But he took one Somebody. bite of that burger. He took one bite of that burger, and that <laughs> that burger's already go. That burger's already almost done, bro. Ninety percent of that burger is is done, just for one bite. Somebody else. <laughs> I'll let you know what we're gonna do for our supper. Yeah. You know he's thirty-four years old, and you know he he ought to be. Taking responsibility more than what he's doing. Hey, will you come get this out of here? Of you course, they have a dog. Alright. You threw it everything? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Food is so much more a part of me than I want it to be. I understand. I love food too. No, but food is the best. But nigga, like, come on, bro. You gotta. Your team, bro. Take a break, bro. Take a hey, break. It's killing me, but like it's like a drug. You don't even notice it. No. When, no offense, but like when he goes shopping, where does he like how? Where does he find his size? He definitely goes like online shopping and gets custom made sizes because there's no way he could just walk into like Macy's or something and find his size. It's just like no way possible. Now there are moments afterwards where like I've ate so much where I feel sick. Okay. But I don't mind overeating and just going and throwing up in the bathroom. No big deal. It's all coming back out. It didn't affect me. If I could just eat, 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 not gain weight would be fantastic. But do I want to be fat forever? No. I, I mean eating like, like that, you ain't going to get skinny. How are you going to say you want to be fat forever but you going to keep eating like that? Mm -hmm. So I made it outside this trough currently because I cannot physically bathe in a sit down bathtub or a stand up shower area. Oh, this is okay. Oh, 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 oh. Because I'm a bigger guy with like folds and flaps and I have to move around like almost like a pig in a way and wallow and roll over to get like the back of my leg. I have to lift up literal <laughs> pieces of skin. It's just a super difficult process. There's two times when I've been kind of stuck in the shower and I couldn't get up. I sat in there for like nine hours. Just couldn't get up. And I can't ask my dad to get me up. And we were like, I was like, Dad, I just, I'm afraid to get back in there again. He's like, well, I got this thing I can buy. It gets old. It gets old. And I get tired of it. And he should be more active. But he's not. He's not. He's, he, he's just that. He's just that. And I wait on him hand and foot. And I shouldn't do it. But I did. Whew. 
I love him to death. He's my son, and I feel obligated to wait on him. I, I, I shouldn't feel that way. I wish I didn't. Oh. Me and my dad's relationship is uh, it's kind of touch and go. Like sometimes we'll have great moments together, and then recently in these past like years, there's a lot of like negativity and anger and frustration. But now I'm at a size to where I need him to help me do things that just no parent wants to be doing when you're in your th- you know thirties or whatever. Just pour it on my head. On the head? Yeah. All right. Check it out. And make sure. Yeah, it's poured. It's on my head. Slowly. Right. And I'm back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just help a little bit to clean myself. You know, wiping just my ass because I mean. Oh, sick. I, I just noticed that. He got he got a little cut. He got a little cut. I reach everything mm-hmm. on my back and I can't okay. reach everything below me, so. Well, at least you got a cut. That's whatever. Wait, you know how I said he just got a cut? I just thought of something. What barbershop does he go to? Because ain't no barbershop chair going fit. He's not going to fit in any barbershop, barbershop chair. He definitely gets a haircut from his dad or a barber has to go to his house and give him like a lineup or something on his bed. Because there's no way he just walks into a barbershop and sits on the chair. No offense. Remember, don't say anything I'm saying. Serious. It's a joke. I'm off for a man having surgery, and I know she needs it to save her life. But it's just a scary thing to think of. Alright. I've never had surgery, never been anesthesia, something I've never even thought about. Like I said, like I said, yeah, you see, he might, he's gonna need surgery, because there's no way that he could exercise that out. But, you need, you mean like, I wish him luck, no cap. Hopefully that surgery goes good and he. Like his body gets he gets skinnier and shit, he gets healthy, bro, because like that's not healthy, bro. No bullshit. And yeah. Things are foreign to me. And it's scary. Okay. Alright. Be careful on that hardwood floor when you go on that because you might sure. slip. You hear me? Be careful, son. Alright? Yeah. Oh my god, if he slips. I want him to have a normal life, and that's not normal. No, things, things can't go on the way they're going right now. I mean, we, we've got to make some drastic changes. I go to the me That is the end of the video. Make sure you click that you can subscribe. Anything I said, don't take it serious. Like I said, I hope that guy's surgery goes good. Stop eating junk food because you can end up like that. And you feel me? Stay away from that. All that food, that nasty shit. Stay away from that shit. Eat healthy, no cap. Get this video 20 likes. Click that like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more reaction videos, man. Bang is coming on the way, no cap. And stay tuned, bruh. I know y'all waiting for that walking in public with diapers prank. I know y'all waiting for the part two. I'm working on it. I'm not. I didn't forget about the video, bro. I'm doing the part two, so stay tuned for that. You know what I'm saying? Sometime next week, I will post the. I will do the part two and post it. You feel me? Let's get it, man. It's your boy, man. Let go. Yeah, I think it's time to shine.